Hey, Gertrude. Gertrude, you around anywhere? I need some help. Oh, hi, Pastor. How you doing? You know, it's Easter Sunday, and I'm working on a script because I want to be able to teach the kids about the real story of Easter. The story of Easter? Yeah, I think what the problem is a lot of kids have forgotten what the story is all about. They think it's only about maybe the Easter bunny, maybe the Easter eggs. <gasps> the candy. Don't forget the candy. Well, I get that too. I mean, there are certain candies I'm obsessed with, and this year it's a marshmallow egg covered with dark chocolate. Mm. Ooh, it is so good. But the problem is, in the midst of all that, I think that the true meaning and story of Easter has gotten lost, and so I need some help. Okay. I'm wondering if maybe we put our heads together, you and I could come up with a way to teach the kids about Easter. Let's think. <gasps> you got something? I do have an idea. All Bert! Right. Bert! Where are you? Bert, I'm right here, where are you? Bert, did I hear you? Okay, I get it. What got you so excited? Bert, do you remember the hike we went on yesterday? I sure do. The sun was shining and it was so warm. Do you remember the flower we found? The beautiful flower? Of course. Can you get it? Yeah, hold on. Man, what'd you guys find? Look, look. Wow, it's a red rose. Wow, now. How did this help you guys? Well, Bert and I saw this, and we started talking about Jesus. You did? Yeah, look, Pastor, the rose has thorns, just like the crown they put on the head of Jesus. I get it. It reminds us about that day. We call it Good Friday, but it was the day when Jesus got arrested. And the soldiers were making fun of him. Jesus had told people he was the king of kings, and so to kind of make fun of him, they took these thorns and they weaved them into a crown and they put it upon his head. Wow. And the rose is red. Jesus shed his blood for us. No, that's true. You know, Gertrude, when God created the world, he put Adam and Eve in the garden and he only gave them one rule. You can't eat from the tree of life. And they did. And sin entered the world, and that creates a problem because sin separates us from God, and we can't be in heaven unless our sins are forgiven. Yeah, and, and Pastor, we can't get into heaven by being good. You're right. Or, or by going to church. No, you guys are absolutely right. You know, the Bible tells us that sins can only be forgiven by the shedding of blood. In fact, it says the blood has to come from the perfect lamb, Jesus was the perfect lamb, and that's what he did on Good Friday. He shed his blood. Yeah, so every time I look at a rose, we will think of Jesus. Man, that is a great lesson, guys. The only problem is, though, is I can't finish my script at this point of the story because it doesn't really end when Jesus died on the cross. That's easy. Look at the green leaves. Okay. Green always reminds me of spring. Yes, when the leaves come back to life. Yes, just like Jesus came back to life on Easter Sunday morning. And you guys are right. That is like the best part of the story. If you remember, Jesus had died and he was put in a tomb. And then on Sunday morning, Mary and some of the other disciples were going to the tomb. Of course, they were discouraged because Jesus had died and Mary, I just imagine she's probably kind of shuffling over, but when she gets close to the tomb, she sees it's empty. And there was an angel there, and the angel said, Mary, don't be sad. Jesus is not here. He is risen, and then poof, the angel was gone. And Mary was kind of confused about what's going on. And then she looks over, and at that moment, she actually sees Jesus, and she's just so excited. She just doesn't know what to do. She's just almost absolutely jumping for joy. I jump for joy every time I hear the story. You know, and Mary couldn't contain herself. She actually ran away from Jesus, and she got to the point where everybody she saw, she said and shouted as loud as she could, Jesus has risen. Wow. So, so you see, Pastor?
Easter, the rose tells the whole story of Easter. You know, that's exactly right, guys. Thank you so much. Oh, but Pastor, I have one more idea. Okay, Gertrude, this one was good. What else you got? Okay, I think every kid watching should ask their parents to read them the whole story of Easter. Now that's not a bad idea. It's a good way for families to get together. You get out the Bible and you go either Matthew 27 and 28 or John uh, 18 and 19 and you could sit together and read the story and kind of remind yourself what it might have been like that day. And then of course, because of you guys, kids, every time you look at a rose, you're going to be reminded of... The thorns remind us of the crown of thorns. And the red rose, the blood that was shed. And of course, the green leaves, the fact that Jesus was raised to life. Kids, I want you to enjoy the Easter egg hunt. I want you to enjoy the Easter candy. But I don't want you to actually ever forget the story. And I think the best thing to do is I'm going to let these guys finish it. Never forget, Easter is the 